company started uh, by my late father 25 years ago. And yeah, it was basically a janitorial company serving local councils, local schools in the area. And the place he used to buy his chemicals from was Wessex Cleaning Equipment. And one day when he went in to buy his chemicals to stock up, they said, this will be your final order. After that, uh, you won't be able to buy it anymore because we're closing. And from that, he had a conversation. And that's when my dad decided to take it over. He literally quit his job and that was that. And it was at the time, cleaning. So it wasn't supply of the materials, it was actually going to sites and doing cleaning. And that was in the Cedar Road address. I was still very young when we were at Cedar Road, but I can remember going to work with my dad there, cleaning vans, uh, just doing anything that anyone else didn't want to do, really. Um, but mo mo most of the time, when we had deliveries, it would shut the road. You, you, you couldn't get up the road when a main delivery come in. And I would go there and just try desperately to keep myself busy uh, without irritating my dad by taking all, you know, bits and pieces from the engineering department and make it into robots. There must have been school holidays or things like that. He used to take us with him to do the cleaning of the offices, um, which was always fun until I went and unplugged some sockets that I shouldn't have in a computer firm. I wanted to plug in my little Henry Hoover, um, which went down well. We were getting so, so big, we couldn't stand. I mean, Cedar Road was really a, a residential area with one unit in. We, we, couldn't, we couldn't operate from there much longer. There was the opportunity to take on a new premises at Mount Pleasant. And yeah, it was, it was just all down to expansion. We needed more room. And that's when that change happened because the Cedar Road premises was very, very small, very small. When I became a director, obviously I was very young. Um, the circumstances were terrible, but yeah, I, I, I just embraced it really. You know, we we uh, we had ideas where we wanted the company to go to, and what we wanted it to become, and, and that's what we did really. We just stuck to our ethos of putting the customer first and and built on that. Yeah, obviously that was a hard time after my dad's accident, um, sink or swim, some might say, for the company. It was, it was what I always wanted. I always wanted to be a director of this place, and yeah, but I don't really remember. <laughs> Obviously, the circumstances were tough. So, so literally one day we finished school, and everyone's talking about you know what they're going to do for a few weeks or colleges. But for me, it was the next day straight to Wessex. You know, there's no point putting it off for a few days because you know you're going to be there. You might as well start straight away. No, I can honestly say hand on heart, we didn't make any mistakes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we, we've made lots of mistakes, um, but you, you learn from them. I mean, we were very young, uh, we were obviously going to make mistakes, but we, I feel, we, I feel we, we, we learned from them, moved on. Obviously, us all being so young as well, there were mistakes you have to make, um, lessons you have to learn. And when you're trying to get um, members of staff and customers and that to take you seriously at such a young age, it, uh, it comes with its own problems. Some of the most standout moments are us purchasing a building up the road from where we are now. That was to house our engineering, workshop, machines, hire, spares, etc. So that was quite a big move because that allowed us to expand 
and develop into new areas and expand within the clients we've got. Um, and then the second biggest thing, and probably the biggest of all, is moving to these premises. Purchasing this place is definitely the best thing that ever happened to us. You know, we had to save a very long time for it, but moving out of those other premises is definitely a way forward. In Mount Pleasant, we, we'd, we, we were stocking stock in, in every possible place we could put it. We, 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 we'd probably outgrown that place maybe two years ago but we needed to find the right location, the right building. Um, so when we found Empress Wessex House, that was, that was when obviously the move was decided. And it, yeah, it's just perfect for us. It's, it's, it's really given us a chance to expand and, and move on. Wessex cleaning equipment is very important to me. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's my dad's life's work, it's my life's work. Other than my family, uh, the most important thing in my life. Because I don't see it as my company to make choices for. So I just do what's best for someone else. And that someone else is my mum and dad. We never say what we can't do. If, 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 if we say something to you as a potential client, we will fulfil that. Even if we've got it wrong and it costs us money, we follow through with that promise. Our word is our word and that's what we stick to. One of the things I'm very proud of is we've kept customers from 25 years ago. We, we, we've got clients that still do with us now, still deal with us now, that dealt with us, you know, over 20 years ago. I'm very proud of that. I, I like the fact that we retain our business. I enjoy working with my family. I get to see them every day, obviously. They are my brothers. We have our little fallings out that we can have. Um, but yeah, I, I very much enjoy it. So back for them, they worked with dad and mum. Then I've worked with mum and them. And now mum's retired. It's me, me, Sarah and Luke. So, you know, it's not by any means always smooth sailing, but ultimately that's the backbone of our business. But nine times out of ten, it's, it's a great thing that I work with my brother and sister. <laughs>